Hi, I'm Dr. Paul. Welcome to another episode of Ask Your Pediatrician. Today's topic is nosebleeds in children. Now, most nosebleeds are nothing serious. Obviously, if, if you have the sudden appearance of nosebleeds and they're significant, and your child has never had nosebleeds before, especially if they have other forms of bleeding. So this would be easy bruising, swollen joints, uh, they bleed when they brush their teeth, that's different. You need to get right in, have that baby checked, your child checked, they need to do blood work, make sure there's nothing serious going on. But 99 times out of 100, a nosebleed is just because the inside the nose there's you know mucous membranes that are quite fragile and if you pick your nose or you blow too hard, uh, you have a cold or a sinus infection, you can get a nosebleed. So how do you deal with this if this happens? The first thing is pressure, folks. The nosebleed can be dealt with with just holding pressure three to five minutes. And I sound funny when I do this. All right. Um, you just hold pressure like that, and that will stop the nosebleed. It's best if you don't lay flat, because then the, if you do that, you're gonna, the blood is dripping in down your throat. You're swallowing it, and then that's another whole issue. So pressure will work. I learned a trick for, for some kids who have sort of a tendency towards nosebleeds and we've ruled out all those bad things. Uh, they've had some blood work done, let's say. Uh, they just seem to be a little prone to nosebleeds. A trick I learned from a hematologist many, many years ago was a spray of afrin or neosinephrine and pressure. Afrin and neosinephrine are vasoconstrictors, shrinks those blood vessels so you just hold it briefly, problem solved. Uh, I don't think packing is a good idea because when you remove the packing, you're just removing that scab and they're back to bleeding again. You can use saline if you have a kid who, who may have sort of sinus problems, congested, you know, snotty nose. Um, you can use saline just to kind of clear it out and then pressure. Um, that's helpful sometimes. You can get a little bit of Vaseline or some any kind of ointment and just stick it in there to provide that little uh, protective sort of layer over those mucous membranes that are a little bit friable until they heal. Um, most nosebleeds are of no major consequence. If they keep happening over and over again and you've not had your child evaluated, you might be uh, wise to do so. Uh, but I thought I'd give you those couple tips. Pressure, you can use uh, neosinephrine or afrin and then pressure, and you can use uh, some kind of a ointment, Vaseline, to provide a little bit of a protective barrier. In a rare instance, so when I see a child with a nosebleed, I'm looking in there with an otoscope. Um, let me grab an otoscope here real quick. So I've, I've got my otoscope, here's their nose, and I'm gonna look in that nose and look for large tortuous blood vessels. Because this is rare, by the way. So should my child's nose be cauterized by an ears, nose, and throat specialist? Some pediatricians will do it. Um, you can use silver nitrate or you can use electrocautery. The problem is, in my own experience, I don't do it because occasionally you can actually make things worse. So I leave that personally to the realm of the experts, the ears, nose, and throat specialists, and I've only had to send one or two kids in my 25-year career. So not likely it's going to need cautery, but rare instance, that's another solution. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. If you liked the video, Help us support with the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Support the channel. We're going to bring new content every week. Appreciate your viewership. Questions will be answered. And ha! <laughs> I blew it. You'll edit that out. Or I will. Or will I? <laughs>